Hey, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up um, the church laptop with the projection and the sound system. And I'm following these instructions here that I've printed out and that will be taped to the wall. So first thing you want to do is take the towel off and at the end you want to put the towel on because it's important to keep dust off this. Then you want to turn the power strip on down here at the bottom and just turn on and you'll see it turn red and you'll see the sound system uh, light up. And then you'll turn on the church laptop. Here's the power on button right here and wait for it to start up. and push the uh, space bar and then the pin is 0298 and that will come up and on the left here you plug in the projector into a USB on the left and then on the right you plug in the sound to the USB on the right here. Okay, and then you take this white controller that says B and Q. This is the power button. You aim it at the projector and push once, and it takes a bit to warm up. So just aim it there. I did. Yeah, and, and wait and watch till it'll warm up. You can kind of see it warming up. And there you see the desktop there. Okay, so now, I'm down here. Now you're going to mouse over this little green one here. And uh okay, if you uh I could see there he says it said proclaim but anyhow there you go uh, click on that and you let proclaim open up okay now when proclaim opens you want to be sure that Today's Sunday date shows up. Right now it shows 523 um, uh, because this was last Sunday's service. But if, if it doesn't, you just go file, open recent, and then you will uh, pick today's date. Like here's 530 for, for tomorrow. But we're just going to stick right now with the um, uh, May 23rd service. So, okay, so we're all open here, and now you want to click, see my mouse rolling over here, see, oh, on air, you want to click on air, and if you notice, there's a, a grid here, if there's not a grid, like if it's, uh, if it's just one, uh, I'm going to turn the sound down for right now. If it's just one uh, menu or one square here, you can go up here and click all these little square dots for the grid. I think it's easier to move around with the grid. So now if you notice up there, sh sh uh, see uh, you're on air up there. And so whatever you have highlighted. Okay. Um, now the pre-service items rotate automatically and then if you see down here 1050 it'll start to go to this first welcome by then the pastor is up doing the welcome and it's going to be recording I can't set it to record unless I do a new program a new date but anyhow I'll show you if you look up here you will see the recording going up here when uh, yeah so anyhow go back down here so then let's say it's 10 50 sunday morning and then uh now you just click the right arrow button down here on the keyboard and click this right arrow button and as you see if you want to see there it will move through the announcements you just click that 
as the pastor talks about the announcements. If you want to show it up there, I'll just show how it, that when you click the right arrow button, it moves to the next one. So, okay. So you do that through the announcements. And when you get down here to uh, I love my church family, you know, um, then there'll just be the pause and then it'll go to it'll go to the next song so you just keep clicking down through the service now if you point point over here when you get uh i'm going to click all the way down through here when you when you get down to the title um then it's going to start recording again and so again you're just going to be uh you're just going to be clicking through according to the scripture readings and what's ever said in the title. And so um, now for the songs, when a song is playing, let, I'll go back up here. Uh, I'll move back up here and I'll go to a song. All right. When a song is playing, use here's the number 16. Uh, scale, slide button and it says laptop it that's the one that you move the songs up loud up and down with now the children's offering you'll have to be sure to turn it down because it's kind of loud but anyhow that's what you'll adjust the sound of the songs with okay so you'll just move down through this as the service goes on through and um, then um, then there are, I'll show you, there are two prayer slides at the end here. Uh, here's a prayer slide. So uh, when the pastor stops sp speaking, then, and the congregation starts praying, you go to the second prayer slide, and that will stop the recording. And because the congregation prayers cannot be heard. And so that will uh, stop the recording. So then, at that at that point, um, you can uh, wait until the congregation's over and the pastor dismisses, and you can go to the goodbye button. All right, and then you turn off the on air button. You go up to the on air and you turn it off. Okay. Where is it? It was the top right there. You had it. And um, then you will see this come up. And so when this comes up, you put in the sermon title. What was the sermon title last night? It was The Gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Spirit. Okay. And then you put in who the speaker is. And then you're going to have to maximize over here so that, so that down at the bottom here, you can click publish. And then you can see it's going to publish. And it takes a while to process the audio and upload it, load it, and, pro and so publishing the sermon. Okay, so that is done. And then you take this controller. I kind of did these in different order, but anyhow, this controller, and you push, aim it at the pro, pro, uh, projector, and you push it once, and it'll say to push it again, and that makes, that makes it power off. I, I pushed it once. And then push it again, and then it powers off. Okay. And um, then when, all, when, you're, when you're done with all of that, turn off the sound system and put the towel back on. And, that's, and then, of course, shut off the computer. Uh, you just exit out of Proclaim with the little red button exit out and then you can go down here to start and click shut down and uh, that's for the setup for the projection